What's going on YouTube? Geosnow right here. So in today's video I'm going to show you how to fix an iPhone, iPad or iPod Touch that is no longer powering on, that is stuck on the Apple logo or that is stuck in the Apple logo and the progress bar, as it's my case for this device that I have in here. Now the problem with the device that I have for today's video is that it simply failed to restore a backup while it was connected to the computer and now it's no longer powering on. It shows that progress bar and even if I try to restore start it or to power it on and back off and stuff like that, it's simply not powering on again. So it would normally require uh, me to put it on the iTunes and restore it, but in that case most likely I would lose all my data, which I don't want. So I'm going to show you the uh, Dr. Phone tool, which is compatible with the device that I'm going to show, which is an iPod Touch 5th generation running iOS 9.3.5. And um, even though this programming here is designed to work with the latest and greatest like the iOS 11.2.6 and the iOS 11.2.5 and the iPhone 10 and 8 and 7, it would handle pretty good the old iPod Touch 5th generation running the iOS 9.3.5. So let me show you what's going on with the device first. So as you can see we have this iPod Touch in here that refuses to power on. It shows that progress bar, it then restarts and you're going to see that it simply does that over and over and over again. So um, we're going to wait for it to do it and I'm not able to power it on. This is as much as it goes. So um, we're waiting for it to do its thing. You can see it shows this in here. It's not even connected to a computer, but it still tries to restore something or do something or whatever. So we're going to try to fix it because it's no longer powering on. So let's do it. Okay, so as you can see, the device is pretty dead. It's not going to power on anytime soon, and it pretty much shows nothing but that spinning well and the progress bar. So in this case, I will have to restore it, but if I have a chance to not lose all my data, I will take a shot for it. So uh, the guys at Dr. Phone contacted me about their software, and it surprisingly works, so I'm going to show you the repair function, even though you can see it's a modular program. Now, about this program and many of its components in here we talked in the past but now we're going to talk about it in the context of an older device because not everybody has uh, the newest iPhone 8 or the iPhone 10 or the iOS 11.2.6 some people do have older devices and these older devices as they age can fail. So I'm going to open the repair function in here. The program is pretty clear, pretty easy to use. You can find it in here on the uh, drphone.wondershare.com. It's available in free trial or you can purchase a full version if you want more features. And it's also available for Windows if you do not have a Mac. The features being of course similar. It's iOS 11 compatible, but we're not going to use it in iOS 11 right now. So uh, let's see. Now this is how we need to perform the operation. I'm going to connect the device and press start. Now I'm going to press start in here. It's going to tell us the main reasons a recovery can fail. We're going to press OK. And of course we're asked to put it in the DFU mode. So I'm going to try to do that even though the device keeps on rebooting itself. Uh, it's going to be tough, but I'm going to press the uh, power button and the home button keep them pressed and then release the uh, home button to put the device in DFU mode. Let's hope that the device is not broken enough not to get in DFU mode. Well, it wasn't and the restore can now start. It detected the device automatically, which is something good. It says iPod Touch 5th generation, uh, the uh, A number in here, 1421, and of course the iOS version compatible with it. So I'm going to press download and it's going to download the iOS for it. But compared to iTunes, this program will try to preserve the data that is on the device. Now that's not guaranteed and in some cases the device is that much broken, it can't be recovered anymore, you know, you can't recover the data. But the program itself will try, will do its best to recover the data and if it can't, it will fix the device without doing that. But iTunes will not care about your data. It will just straight out delete everything and restore, which is something I don't want because I want to take a shot at recovering the data in this device. So I'm going to be back once the download is done and see if this device can go back to life. Alright, so the download has now been finished, um, even though it took a while for me to download, but the internet here in Italy is 
a little bit less than great, but however it did download and I, I can press the fix now button in here and it will attempt to pretty much fix the uh, device. So let's wait for it to do its procedure and the device is still in DFU mode. Now it says repair iOS normal and it tells me not to unplug the device and to expect like 10 minutes for the procedure to, you know, uh, and then to, to get my device back on track. However, I'm going to wait for it to complete and once it's done, I'm gonna be back to show you the final result. Okay, so we are apparently done, so I'm going to see if the device starts normally. Okay, so finally, as you can see, the device itself works pretty fine. It has restored uh, nicely and it's now working fine. It's no longer boot looping, so the program worked quite nice. So yeah, that's pretty much it with this program. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to check it out in the description down below. There is a free trial available if you're interested in the program. It's available for Windows and for Mac OS. So yeah, I'm Geosnow. Until the next time, peace out.